Hey there, I'm Julianne Clark, and my art name is Artsy Julesy. Welcome to 15 Minutes with Jules, where we will be filming 15-minute episodes, and I'll be interviewing the amazing artists in the art district on Santa Fe in Denver, Colorado. These artists are passionate about their work, and we will get a brief glimpse into their fascinating stories. I would like to thank the Denver Art Society and the DOS Show for this opportunity and also a special shout out to the artists that are collaborating with me on this project. Art is more than what you see and hear. It is a journey into the innermost soul, sparking emotions of beauty and freedom. It is expressed through paintings and photography digital art and graphic designs, fashion and clothing designers, sculptures, pottery, and jewelry. And what about this? How about the rush that you get when you go to a concert and the sights and the sounds that are surrounding you or the thrill of going to see a play or a movie or watching a television series and the characters pull you into their lives and you get lost in the moment with them. For me personally, I want to thank God for giving me the abilities and the gifts and the talents that I have to share with you. I'm inviting you to join me on this great adventure. So come on, let's go. Let's get started. Hello. It is an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful day here in Colorado with the changing of the seasons. And I am so blessed today to have Raina Luna and Andreas Kramer here with me to interview them in an artist interview. So we're going to get started. Andreas, can you tell me like what it is that really drives you, what you're passionate about, why you do art? Yeah, totally. Thanks for uh, having me and um, asking me these questions. But I think the main thing that drives me is um, just exploration um, and trying new things out and seeing what I can do and um, experimenting. Um, really just seeing how I can manipulate and create things with my mind and my hands. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen a lot of your art and I love it it's you're always doing something different <laughs> yeah, I, I think I always try and do something different <laughs> and that's awesome and that, that that's what I see with you too Raina it's very diverse you have a lot of styles so can you tell me like what you're passionate about what you specialize in and and how it all got started for you yeah um so I just I've always loved to draw like every time I had a pen and paper in front of me and I just had some time to kind of go out of my mind and just do whatever. I would always spend time, I would always draw flowers. Um, that was like my always my thing. Um, and then in, in school I just loved art class, favorite subject. And so I, I always knew um, art was something that brought me like happiness and it was like a fun, just a very fun thing to do for me. and. So yeah, similar to what you said, it's just um, a really great way to explore so many different types of mediums. Um, I recently got into clay, and I just love love playing with clay. I, I love how it feels, and I, I love everything you can do with it. But I also love painting and graphic design and building fairy houses. So it just I love how it, it ranges from so much, and you can grow throughout that in so many ways too yeah yeah you're putting your imagination into into all your art pieces mm -hmm. um oh why don't both of you go on ahead and if you'd like to tell tell everybody what your um like your social media how to contact you to, where to see your art if you want to um, yeah sure my my name is uh andreas does art and that's my name on pretty much everything. You can find me on Instagram or YouTube, um, or I have a website, andreasdesart.com. And then, yeah, here at the Denver Art Society, I have some stuff hanging up. Yeah. And I'm Raina Luna. Um, I, my artist name is Moon Queen. So you can find me on Instagram at art 
um, double T underscore Luna double A. <laughs> and um, you can also find me at the Denver Art Society. Awesome. Uh, how did you end up here at the Denver Art Society? And and I, this is what, what I really am intrigued with you all, too, is you doing art together. If you could just explain that process, that would be awesome. Right. Well, I found uh, when I first moved out to Colorado, I started going to art shows, and I went to uh, Pancakes and Booze, and I met some a bunch of artists there. I met Tony... Um, I met Mallory and a couple other artists who were part of the Denver Art Society. And from meeting them and like connecting with them, I started coming here. Um, and yeah, it was just a really cool place when I first came here. So I kind of started talking to people and figured out how to get my art here. And it's been, it's been a little over two years that I've had my stuff here, but it's been awesome. There's lots, so many cool people here. Um, and then, yeah, and I think I showed you yeah, so our friend Tony, um, who you met at the Pancakes, he introduced me to Andreas, and he invited me to collaborate with both of them. And so that's how I met Andreas. And we collaborated, like, a few times, all three of us. Um, and then after a while, we started to collaborate, and it's actually one of our pieces that <laughs> we collaborated on, a um, little watercolor piece, but... Yeah, we just we just loved um, the, the styles that we would create together, and and so we just kept kept collaborating, and then I finally was like, okay, I'll I'll do the art gallery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so the collaboration, it, it's awesome. I mean, we're doing this with the DOS show, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm so thankful for you coming here. I'm thankful for the other artists that are helping me to put this all together. Mm -hmm. uh, artists are really good at doing that. And one of the things here at the Denver Art Society is that they, they give artists a chance. Um, and so the collaboration, though, it led to something else. Would you like to share? I mean, are, you're a couple, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're a couple. Um, but that's been really awesome. Like, I think our first date, we um, went to like a, what do you call it? Like an underground? Yeah, it was like a little overpass. Um, and there was a tunnel underneath. Um, it wasn't a highway, it was just a little little road. And we went into there and uh, we got a bunch of spray paint and made a little little mural like tucked away under this little underpass. Um, yeah. That was super cool. But Yeah, that was my first time spray yeah. painting, so... <laughs> yeah, definitely has been so much fun um, just because, like, we get to hang out so much yeah. and we get to do so many different types of art. Yeah, That's definitely great. connected through doing art together so much and just mm -hmm. talking about art and learning about art through each other and just helping each other out so much. It's been, it's been really cool. Yeah, that I mean, it's really remarkable um, because sometimes not not both people in, in a couple, you know, have the, the gift, you know, the same gifts and talents, and you do, so you could do it together. It's To me, it's just very unique and special. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, let's see here. What is your specialty, Raina? What would you say is your very best thing that you do? <laughs> That's a hard one. I don't even know if I can answer that. I don't even know if I have a specialty a because I feel like everything I do is equally just as, like, I don't know if I have one that's, that I'm better at than another. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I've, I've probably done um, drawing and painting the longest, but I don't even know if that's my specialty. I would say um, my specialty is probably drawing because um, I would always doodle and I, I love Zentangles. I don't know if you're familiar with that style, but it's kind of like a, a pattern that repeats itself, but then it's a it's like a pattern within shapes and it's, it's a lot. It's kind of like abstract a little bit. Okay. Um, but I would say that, that that's probably like... I could do that all the time. Like my wall in my room is just covered in like 
just <laughs> random like shapes and lines and patterns and yeah just I don't know if that really answers the question. Well, yeah, yeah, it does. Because, I mean, um, you know, some some artists, are, it'd be landscape. Mm-hmm. That's that's natural. Or some would be contemporary or modern art. And if it's abstract, then that's what you're the best at. There's a lot of people that love, love that. Yeah. So that's cool. What about you, Andreas? Mm-hmm. That's a good question. It is hard because similar with Raina, like I like exploring so much. It's hard to say the one thing. Um, Painting is definitely what I've been doing the longest, but I kind of feel like the uh, what I have in my mind and how the paintings turn out, like they're not where I want them to be yet. So I feel like I, it's hard for me to call that my specialty. But I feel like um, not a medium, but maybe just like creating uh, characters is probably my specialty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'll, I'm going to be showing that. <laughs> That's what draws a lot of people to your art. It's yeah. like your skateboards that are painted and you have your your symbol on there, you know, your yeah. brand. Yeah, yeah, I love creating creatures and little animals and characters. And <laughs> yeah, a lot of them are very abstract, but just any, yeah, anything with a face. <laughs> <laughs> um, Raina, did you go to art college? No, I didn't. No. No, I just did um, high school art art graphic design classes. Yeah. Um, you did, though. Yeah. Yeah, I went to this college for uh, graphic design, so I'll, I'll come to computer-based art, but it uh, kind of varied in the classes I took. I took some photography classes, some videography classes, and then some color theory classes, so I got a good um, general learning and then learned a lot of deeper stuff in uh, computer and programs and digital art. That's good. Yeah, in our modern world, that seems to be like the most You're right. biggest deal right now, the most <laughs> popular. Yeah. Um, so that's good. It's a good way to, to make a career. Is it full-time for you, for your career? No, I want to make it full-time. Um, but after college, I uh, didn't pursue a job in my um, career. I kind of wanted to find something that would like really make me happy and I came out here um I was I was born in Maryland and went to school out there um and then I came out here to uh snowboard and instruct and then I found a job through snowboarding I've been following that but I'm not not doing art full-time that's kind of what I'm chasing right now (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah well that's understandable a lot of people have dual careers and (laughs) jobs right yeah what about you yeah I have it's not my full time yet but I have like another I went to school for massage therapy so I'm a massage therapist oh awesome then, yeah so way to combine those two yeah yeah well that's good um what makes your art special and unique mm. either one of you I think um one thing that I try to do is um with exploring different things, I try to put as many different mediums into pieces, and that's what I've been doing a lot lately. Um, so like I'll mix collage and painting, and then maybe do resin and put um, like moss or bark, or just add a lot of different things into one. Um, and that's definitely something I try to like see how much I can put into a piece, how many different things. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. I don't know, I, I think that's, Kind of like, um, I think what just makes it special is just that, and like that I made it. Like, I'm, everybody in the world is special and unique in their own way. So everyone sees it in, in their own lens, and you know, I just see art through my own lens too. So anything that I create, it's just, it's just what I, what I, what comes through me, you know. So yeah. So, so do your pieces maybe maybe not all of them but some of them are um tell a story some of them do some of them do not all of them for sure some of them some of them i have like um like a meaning already behind before i create like i know i want this to be this to you know symbolize this but um for the most part it's just um because i think it'll be fun to make and usually is yeah (laughs) yeah 
Are are you from Colorado? Or yeah, you? I'm from Colorado. Oh, yeah. another, another Colorado native yeah. like me. <laughs> We're kind of rare nowadays, but yeah. that's all right. <laughs> um, is is there anything else that you would like to to share before we mm. stop? <laughs> mm. I mean, like, what would you want to tell somebody mm. that you maybe haven't? described so far? Mm, I mean, I would just say um, that art is super fun, and that's the main reason why I do it. Um, and yeah, I feel like everyone's just got to find that thing that they uh, think is really fun and chase after it, because it definitely fills you up and uh, helps you be a better person. Yeah, and uh, I'll add that you don't have to be a certain way like sometimes I, I um, I'm not satisfied with the painting or something because I'm comparing it to someone else's that I thought was like amazing and mine's not like that but you don't have to do art in any way or be like anything else you just have to do what feels right for you and what makes you feel complete inside then that's when you know you did a good job because everyone is gonna have a different opinion on what they like and don't like and so yeah you don't have to have your, your style or whatever of art it doesn't have to be comparable to anything all right awesome okay well we'll see you next time on the <laughs> da show <laughs> bye see ya <laughs>